hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are gonna talk about how I uh, made this character uh, looking like this or exactly comp in uh, Photoshop real quick if you have something uh, very quickly to present this is uh, how this is just one way you can do it so in future I'll show you to properly light and uh, uh, set your render passes in ZBrush for now let's just suppose that you have your uh, mean uh, uh, one shot like a uh, beauty shot which is uh, uh, <coughs> so I'll, I'll turn off everything and I'll show you what I had initially so yes this was the beauty shot and I will yes, I'll show you what passes did I uh, brought in to the Photoshop so I had the composite there a mask and an AO these three I had at first I <coughs> what I did is I took the mask and converted into the grayscale or you don't need to do that for mask you can do it for AO convert it into grayscale bring it on top of your uh, you compose it and an video so uh, all you uh, you don't need you anymore you can close it all you need for mask is for creating uh, separating it from the background shift and hold it while dragging it will stick on place you will see that the alpha is there control click on alpha you will select that and you can turn off you and click on this mask button it will create the mask you can apply mask now you got your uh, character for AO I just brought in to set it on multiply that way you can have AO you can al also do apply the same mask on you by clicking this and doing the same thing apply mask now you have both layers set in I was just uh, showing you how to play with your mask and AO so as you know first I brought in my composite layer and then on top of that I brought in my EO this is my EO which is set to multiply and right now at a opacity 100 then I uh, yeah this is this comes later then I added some background layers first something vignette something to create vignette and then a gradient so the vignette is set to normal and 100% but the <coughs> Uh, but the gradient is set to color dodge at 73% you can change it according to your taste I'm just showing you my settings and then I brought in a grunge layer which is which looks like this which looks like this this is this was the grunge layer that I brought in from internet and set it to 31% just uh, sorry it was not 31% it was on light and uh, yeah it was soft light excuse me yeah it was soft light at 31% and a back layer right now turn on the, the composite and then when you see that it's it looks a little dull so I added in a curves this is what my curves look like and other la levels this is what levels is a little bit level and curve and it looks like this then I try to add in some uh, fake fur on top of the uh, it's just to show and just to create a concept character not nothing it's just a big cheat that you should not do it's just for concept adding concept in doubt so I just uh, created the copy of my uh, composite layer put it on top and I did the filter called from filter gallery I selected spread strokes so it uh, looks like that there are some fake fur going on I did that and created a mask I created mask and painted the mask something like this where I wanted some fur just a basic mask so it looks like this as you can see it is creating some something some artifacts uh, it only is uh, uh, just to fake something it's uh, uh, in future we will uh, I'll show you how to create fur or hair in 
ZBrush as well. So this is just a quick way to fake it. It's not accurate. It's just an effect. So that. Also, I wanted to add some uh, some more uh, natural kind of fur uh, on the blue parts of this creature. So I went ahead and uh, downloaded this. No, downloaded. I just saved an image of fur. I don't have that here. But uh, yeah, it looks something like this. Uh, yeah, I'll switch it to normal and full opacity. It was this. I color tinted it to blue. I set it to lighten and decrease the opacity to what I want. Let's suppose 35%. And created a mask. It looks like this. Just on the blue part. And yeah, as you can see, it's just giving me some light amount of fur. See. So yeah, this is one step that you can do as well. So the main thing is bring your character and first curve it because it will look dull. When you curve it, it will look a little bright and then level it to adjust the brightness. Then bring it to your EO, give it some more depth and then you can start building up your background by, <coughs> by keeping first black and then add a grunge, little bit of grunge, gradient, blend it all, color dodge it, the gradient and it will bring your this thing. You can also remove gradient and uh, from soft light bring it to normal and uh, decrease the opacity. It will also look nice in this but I wanted something, something different so I went with that treatment. And then on top of that you can add more, something more like uh, fur and hair. So that's how you quickly can comb your character and <clears throat> show it as a one image. It is not suitable for PNGs, not PNGs, it's not suitable for turntable or movies. You can't do this step, but just to show in one uh, image you can do that. So that's it for the quick presentation video that you can create for your character, turntable, image and uh, if you like the video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming tip tips and tricks. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.